Hello guys, welcome back on my channel. Today I will teach you how to create this amazing distortion effect in Canva. I learned this trick from one of my friends, Reno Nadiandi. He also has an amazing YouTube channel. You can find his link in the description to check all of his amazing tutorials. And once again, I have to, have to say thank you for him to let me use his tutorial to create my own distortion effect. But before we dive into the tutorial, I have a quick favor to ask. If you like my content and find it valuable, please take a moment to hit the small like button and subscribe to my channel. Is it really helps to keep creating content for you? Thanks, and now let's get started. So, I just open a new Canva page, social media, I just use this Instagram post. First thing what we need, we need a, a, one letter and just added the letter B again as before and just using some text I use the poppins there is a drop down menu here I can choose the black poppins black and I just have to increase the size of the of the letter which is important no it's too big like this you can buy me smaller yeah like this and adding one element just a single square zooming a bit and moving down Actually, we just increasing the increasing a bit the letter, and changing this to black. Going to the elements and uh, searching for distortion graphics, and we'll use this this effect, increasing the size a bit, and moving to the left like this and changing all the colors to white which is important and all the yellows to white and we can duplicate it and if needed we can add more to this letter i don't like this in the top like this and then bottom one a bit down yeah something like this yeah okay and just have to download this uh, element download i increase the size to the maximum to have a better quality just downloading it and just uh, searching for the element you can upload your own photo actually i, I just uh, Use one photo from the photo gallery of the Canva, reducing the transparency. But the only reason why I reduce the transparency to to get it in a proper place and size, like this, and just crop everywhere even the top and bottom and also no increasing back the transparency before I downloading it so I have to increase the transparency back to 100 this one I also downloading it Wait until it uploaded the text, also the image here. And now go into the apps. I just wait until it's uploaded. We can see here when we see this animation, this uh, the, the the images are uploading. So I'm going to the uh, to the apps and just type blend 
and here we have two different apps blend image in image blender that's doing the same but in a different way but at the, for this i need the blend image for the top i choose this file nope sorry you selected image and for the bottom you selected image and for a blend mode we have to choose the screen it's pretty amazing Open new page, add to design. I can crop to the bottom of the letter. This one also a bit crop bit. And if you would like to use some additional elements like uh, some shadow, what I did it in another image, the easiest way to duplicate the image flip vertically just attach the image to the same position and going back to the to the apps where is the apps here and now we need the image blender click on the bottom image and Due to this linear, this is what we need. As you can see, we can uh, uh, increase, decrease the, uh, the size. Around 30, something is good, or 40. And just uh, click on Save. First, I would have to see, I attach the two images in a proper way. Not really, just... like this if i would like to remove this small white portion yeah i am now i did it i just have to crop the bottom image a bit select bo uh, both uh, images together increasing the size even i can increase more move it to the center as possible and increasing the size again so that's uh, as you can see they have this distort effect in the left side of the letter also we have some kind of shadow effect in the bottom i use the two different uh, image blender applications to get the two image together let's pretty amazing and also thanks again for the tutorial for reno as i mentioned you can find the the, the link of the of his youtube channel in the description and please check his amazing tutorials also but now this tutorial is going to the end hope so you liked it if you really like it please do not forget to hit the small like button subscribe to my channel leave comment in the comment section if you're struggling anything in a Canva, I try to answer as soon as possible. Please check my Facebook page also, where you can find uh, lots of uh, other Canva tutorials, not only from me, also from other Canva experts like Reno. And you can find also a bunch of uh, text to image prompts for image generation for different kinds of applications. So if you're also interested in this area, please feel free to check my Facebook page. You can find also the link in the description. But now this tutorial is really going to the end. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Ciao.